Hello and happy Friday. I have got some Friday thoughts to share today. I hope everybody's having a Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. Getting ready to meet Carrie uh, for late lunch, early dinner. And I'm coming on because, you, of course, I'm getting inboxed about my opinions about the comments from Ebony Williams and the Grio and about the Mrs. Degree. And I'm, I'm just going to say, say I, I want to say that um, it's dark in my car. I don't know why it's so dark. Um, everyone is looking for cheat codes. Everyone is looking for um, the formula to success. Um, people are trying to provide people with cheat codes and shortcuts to things or analyzing everything that people do and don't do. And in reality, where we are going wrong with social media and all of these opinions is that it's one of two ways. Either you're going to not have done it the way people are trying to tell you you should have done it. So now you feel guilty or you feel reg regret or you feel like you're somehow lost or you're not going to be able to find love because you didn't uh, pursue love when you were 22 years old or 21 years old and and you followed you know, the instructions from your family, your parents, your, you know, your family culture, your core unit to get your degree, pursue your education and, and, and your money. And in reality, guys, there are so many variables to all of this, so many variables, that if you try to judge every little thing that somebody with an opinion is saying across social media, which, by the way, now everyone's addicted to attention. All these media outlets and podcasts are trying to go viral at trying to have viral moments, saying things just for clickbait, saying things just for attention. So it's just to stir things up. Let's take a posture, a position, an opinion, and try to make that the truth for everybody, right? And in reality, there are so many variables. You are a unique individual. You are, you are a special, unique person with a specific, unique set of experiences, background, core values, mindset, family, upbringing, all of the above. And if you sit on social media and you're constantly consuming all of this shoulda, woulda, coulda, what I'm not going to do, what, what men should do, what women shouldn't do. And, and guys, and this is why social media is so complicated because you've got a million and one different people with a million and one different opinions. And you got people who have two life experiences. And now that is the gospel truth that they are going to preach and, and literally go viral on across social media because they had two experiences and now this has to be universal law for how it works for everybody, right? No, that's not true, <laughs> right? Um, there's somebody right now, there's a white woman right now who married her college sweetheart because she was focused like her mama taught her to do not all white people do this. We can't make these blanket statements. But let's just say she pursued her missus degree and she got married right out of college and they're on they're getting divorced right now. 10 and 15 years later, they're no longer a fit for each other because what you thought was going to work for you at 22 and 24, do you know how many of those marriages last when you get married in your early 20s? Do some of them work? Yes. But do you understand that there's a very high divorce rate going on and that we are in the middle of, I've said it a million times, relationship revolution. What is expected out of relationships has evolved and is evolving. It is much more complicated than it was 50 years ago because now we want partners. Now we want, we want loyalty. Now we want emotional health. Now we want 
true team members and partnership and emotional support and and we want to be able to be best friends and we want and you thought that our former ancestors had this stuff and they didn't didn't know the first thing about emotional intelligence didn't know the first thing about emotional self-awareness so you got all this toxic stuff being handed down generation to generation but we want to care compare current modern relationships to relationships of old and it's apples and oranges and if you sit on social media too long you are going to get everything inside of you so twisted because there's no cookie cutter answers for you God has answers for you. Your life is not a cookie cutter stamp of what everybody else's life and experiences look like. Right now is the only moment and the only opportunity that you have to make new choices and new decisions to align yourself with God, Holy Spirit and the miraculous is the right now moment. This is all you've got is right now. And so if we don't begin to take authority and accountability and, and literally do what we can in our right now moments to live our best life, our most fulfilled, healthy, healed lives. Can I say this really quickly? What I've experienced in the last couple years as I've had a heart to try to help people to heal more on a broader scale. One of the things I've encountered is that a lot of you don't want to heal. A lot of you don't want to make the truly intrinsic changes inside of you. You don't want to do the work that it takes to have the outward results and the outward success so within so without people want to skip all of the hard work and kind of fake it till you make it or get some cheat codes to success so you're looking for these quick fixes this instantaneous success you want microwave results microwave success that's not truly intrinsic, that's not getting to the heart of the matter, the soul of the matter, the spiritual. No, I just want to try to manipulate my way. I want to try to trick my way into getting what I want. And this is the way of destruction. This is the way you end up worse off than you ever started. You're following people who are literally sitting here oversharing, sharing the most toxic, crazy-ish ever because they are addicted to attention and literally just want to keep, want to stay relevant. So they keep sharing the craziest stuff that is not well-balanced, that is not healed, that is not based in creating and, and co-creating an abundant life with God. And so you're, it, this content is all over the place. And then you got people faking it and acting and sounding just like the heart-centered, pure intention people because they learn all the right lingo that makes you think it's God because they say all the same language and lingo because you're so desperate for results that you don't really pay attention and discern by the spirit. And so a lot of what's going on is the blind leading the blind and we get caught up. Why, why do you guys see me go away for weeks at a time? Why do you not see videos from me for weeks at a time? Why do you literally, I'll go ghost on y'all. If anybody's been following me for any amount of time, I go ghost. I, you don't see no YouTube videos. You don't see, I'll go create my content, my cooking videos, and you'll see some prayers and some stuff from me, but you won't see me live. You won't see me actually engaging 
Why? Because I have to take breaks from social media. If you are a highly sensitive person, if you are a spiritual person, if you are anointed, if you are gifted, if you're an empath, guess what? I can't sit on here with y'all all day long and all this craziness across these internet streets and all this crazy energy and spirits and, and in the meantime, people are hurting and, and it's just a mess. It's a mess. For some of you, I'm going to say this. Some of you are going to have to make up your mind what kind of life you want to have. Do you really want real results in like real life? Like so even like off social media, nothing to do with social media. See, I have a great life. I have a blessed life. I have worked really, really hard to create a real life that I'm thriving in real life. So whether you guys see me on the internets or not. Right, I have a great life. I have a healed life. Is it always healing more? Yes. Are we always a work in progress? Yes. But I have a healed life. I have an abundant, well-rounded life. 360 degrees of wellness. 360 degrees of abundance and thriving. I've had to work my ass off to have a real life in real life that's thriving. And in the meantime, social media has created so much craziness. And we now, what's, what, you know, the Bible says was God's ways are not our ways. And it's so evident when you come on to social media. Because what's up is down and what's down is up. People are esteeming and idolizing the most ridiculous craziness you've ever seen in your life. People are oversharing details that should be nobody's business. What happened to privacy? What happened to class? What happened to you literally being someone of character and integrity and doing what you say you're going to do and working hard to have a good life and have real results in your life. We now esteem so much craziness, so much craziness in these streets. And so much of what people are pursuing for the external is landing you in heartbreak. It's landing you at broken places in your life because in the pursuit of all of this external stuff and this projection of ego that has you constantly trying to validate yourself and find worth in the things of the world, you'll lose yourself. People are lost. People are hurting. I may be talking to you. You may feel lost. You may be hurting. Because it is the inevitable outcome of chasing all of these things that have nothing to do with God. And nothing to do with who God created you to be. And as a spiritual being, a spiritual being, who has spiritual identity, you're out here trying to navigate in this material world, trying to find your place and trying to fit in, not realizing you weren't born to fit in to the craziness. You're never gonna fit in. Chasing illusions of happiness illusions of grandeur, illusions of joy, illusions of peace, illusions of love, illusions, you see, illusions. If you knew half the stuff that people were suffering with, when you are looking at them and esteeming and trying to get these outward results instead of looking inward, inward. God, renew my heart. Renew my mind. Create in me a clean heart. God, help my unbelief. 
God, renew my faith. Help me to pursue those things that are everlasting, that are never changing. God, help me to walk out my life in love and peace and joy. God, bring to me real connections and real people that will love me as I love them. God, help me to be more vulnerable. God, help me to be honest. God, help me to show up in authenticity and understanding the power of who you've created me to be. And I don't need to hide and I don't need to shuck and duck and dive and I don't need to pretend and I can be authentic. And I can be real and in kind, God is going to return by law of attraction, by law of vibration. God is bringing back to you the very things that you put out. He's bringing it back. But if you don't start getting real and if you don't start getting honest and if you don't start honestly saying, Rebecca, I, I, I've been trying and trying and trying and I've been out here trying to pursue this and pursue that and trying to make it happen and I'm trying and I'm trying and it's just not working. I'm not happy. As a matter of fact, I'm grieving. I'm heartbroken. I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. Carrie and I are building Love Ministries right now. Our brand new ministry is coming because we're recognizing the need and the hurt that people have to be able to help you learn the power of your subconscious, the power of your mind, the power of your faith, help you to tap in to your internal power that God has given you. So Love Ministries is coming. I've, I'm launching a new heartbreak and grief course with Brittany Wilder, one of our master coaches that will be releasing soon. For those who are going through heartbreak and we're coming into the holidays, that will be coming soon. Guys, please understand that you are loved. Please understand for those of you who are caught in the trap of comparison and caught in this virtual world that has got you feeling like your life is is not worthy or no good it's it's just it's not in the cards for you that that it's just you know everyone else seems to be thriving and you're not it's not true it is absolutely not true so this is my prayer for you today god i pray over every single person watches this video and watches it in replay. That God begins to meet you right where you're at for a fresh start, a place of healing and renewal, a new place of hope and faith. That you begin to build a life centered on peace and joy and bliss right now. That a fresh start, a new beginning begins to wash over your life Hold on. Carrie was calling during my prayer that God renews you. This is my prayer for you today. That God begins to meet you right where you're at. To renew you. Renew your life. And that you start getting honest and surrendering some things to God. And being honest with where you're at. And surrendering in pure honesty where you're at and what you need. Amen. I love you guys. Blessings in abundance. Christina says, my heart is so broken. Christina, I'm praying for you, sweetheart. Praying for you, praying for you, praying for you. We have a heartbreak through the holidays support group and course that's coming. Christina, join us in there where we will give you support and love to get through this time of the year and to help you with where you're at right now. All right. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.